as we've come to expect them to yep. be. Um, would you consider Stocktaker or Venia for ninth and upset or no? So, being as it's first and second seed, it's not quite an upset, but where it is in bracket, that's definitely, definitely an upset. Absolutely. So, we're going to be seeing Zelda against Palutena on the standard starter Pokemon Stadium 2. So, what do you think of this matchup? As far as the matchup's concerned, I feel like everything that Zelda wants to do, Palutena can do better mm -hmm. and in a more linear fashion. And where that linearity might hurt Palu, I think it, this is going to be just fine for Stocktaker. This really depends on how confident CTN is in the matchup. Mm -hmm. It's looking like he's not very confident right now, though. <laughs> the problem is, is that, like, New York and, you know, Tri-State in general has so many high-level Palutanas that it's hard to get a lock on fighting the character when there's so many different playstyles amongst mm -hmm. that character base. And Stocktaker, while he has Palutena, he has several other characters too, so it can be kind of hard to get a lock on exactly what he wants to do when he's constantly switching around. Yeah, well, I don't but particularly it looks see like he's doing Stock a, oh, switching. I can like expect Wolf to come out of anything. doing a pretty good job of bringing it back, though. And yeah, I can, I can see the Wolf here. Um, while Zelda really can't challenge Palutena in the air at all because of her um, unique aerials, um, I do want to mention that Zelda might be better than average at anti-airing Palutena if she tries to go up with them. I would agree. There's a good amount of tools in Zelda's kit that lets her at least try to fight back, especially um, trying to play like out of shield if Stock comes down with a wayward aerial that isn't back air. Yep. Catching Zelda's out of shield is very is scary. Rough. You got the up the out of shield, which can KO very early, and you've got forward air and back air, which will KO just as early as well. So it looks like we're we're having a pretty even game. It looks like uh, Zero to None's kind of adapted after uh, Stock Taker started off this round very strong. And like I said before, um, you're gonna see a lot of those like uh, lightning kick out of shields um, or parry out of or parry lightning kicks too. I feel like it's just the fact that ZTN is trying to clock it back and play a safer game. He's getting yep. his damage safer. Try to go for his kills. Well, he knows he can get him. Charged up smash at the ledge going to do a fine job. So a lot of something that I've noticed is that like a lot of people tend to jump a lot, and against Palu that can be very scary because her air-to-air -air tools are very strong. But ZTN is just not falling into that because he's kind of forced to play a grounded game with Zelda. So I guess that kind of that kind of works in his favor. He's keeping himself at a zone where he doesn't have to respect the burst. Ooh, options. but that platform tech chase is going to take it. Those are so good, mm -hmm. especially on this stage. I know people are so used to starting Stadium just because it's out of habit. Mm -hmm. And majority of characters in the competitive meta play really well on this stage. In fact, you could probably count the ones who don't like this stage on one hand. But like, if you see Palutena, you got to try to avoid this stage at all costs. Her yeah. do such a good job of controlling space. I can agree with that. Oh, it looks like Stock's really bringing this back. Um, that neutral B, while it's very, very good at um, getting out of pressure, it's very easy to bait and punish as well. And we kind of saw that there with um, ZTN kind of throwing it out and getting punished. That explosive flame almost hit, man. Almost. This is starting to get really scary. Because it might not look like it, but both characters are in death percent here. Yeah, if CCM and gets one good play at the ledge, that could be it, but stock. Oh, he DI's in on the down throw, though, and remember in Smash 4 when that was just a thing? I'm getting flashbacks, man. I don't blame you. I mean, there's only really like two ways that could have gone. If he tried to DI out, he would have been at the mercy of Fair or Bear. Mm -hmm. Um,. DIing in, a smart option, but Stocktaker being ready for it, going right for the up air. And, oof. All right. It looks like we're not going to be seeing a switch from either player. Uh, ZTN is kind of like a solo Zelda, so I'm not surprised at that, but um, Stock, like we said, has a lot of different characters, but I feel like he's pretty confident in this matchup right now. I spoke with him earlier this evening, and uh, he had told me he would only really pick into Wolf if Polly was having a problem. Mm -hmm. But he wanted to try and stay Palutena as best as he could, mm -hmm. given most matchups that he had in his path. Mm -hmm. Which, while his path definitely had some heavy diversion into the loser's bracket, he's managed to stay on top. Yep. Yep, like I said before, that's very punishable, and ZTN's going to be taking a lot of damage from that. 
All right, so now I have a question for you because this is a, a, a bit of a hot topic as far as Palu and warp characters in general, Counterpick is concerned. Unova, how do you feel this is going against Palu Tana? Um, I think it's fine. Um, she's one of those characters who has um, trouble with teleporting to ledge, right? She can't ride the wall. You can latch onto the ledge just fine if you aim for it, but riding the wall is very dangerous against the likes of uh, actually both of these characters. But when you take the layout into consideration, this is like a bit of a condensed version of Stadium, and yeah. we've already seen how well Stocktaker and ZTN can perform on that kind of a stage. I guess you could call it a mixed bag. Anyways, Ooh, though, the falling back this is going to be a tough situation, but ZTN is going to land that, um, I guess you'd call Nair's Love a DP um, to get out of the situation. Uh, in a sense. It's not like a traditional one in that, like, she's not, like, rising for it. Like, Furore's Wind out of shield is probably the closest we're going to get, but it's a great burst option just to t as a get-off move to it. Oh, goes for the up smash to try to catch the jump. Gets the correct read, but just barely misses his mark. And that up air is going to take it. We've been seeing a lot of those for trying to trace a lot of this aerial play from ZTN. And Stock's doing a really good job of keeping this movement on lock. I'm hoping ZTN tries to, like, mix it up a bit. Like, we had Chris come on a little bit, actually, before you rotated on the mic. And he had brought up uh, the notion that ZTN plays, like, a flow chart. But Ooh. I feel like, uh, contradictory to that, he does a really good job of, like, adapting outside of what the typical Zelda plan is. <laughs> But I feel like his movement doesn't reflect that. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Um, one adaptation that I did see, though, is I don't feel like he's going for Phantom as much as he usually does. Um, why do you think that is? It's not really netting him a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, typically, Phantom comes out and that's big damage, potential mm -hmm. kill setups. Uh, worst comes worse, it gets you stage control. Mm -hmm. And it's something to worry about. It, like, Stock isn't really concerned about the knight. He's either going right past it or he's putting out something that can contest it. Mm -hmm. Uh, like the Invincible Dash Attack, maybe? Yeah, it's like when the, the whole objective of the Knight, if it's not doing damage, is to have stage presence. Oh, but kill. the Knight's going to put in some work there, catching Stock Taker as he tries to go to ledge. He heard us talking that good, good. <laughs> Anyways, it's like if it's not going to uh, do anything mm -hmm. offensive, it might as well have stage presence. And Stock mm -hmm. doesn't really care for the stage presence. I have to say, though, um, those Nehru's loves to uh, counter those explosive flames are really coming in clutch. Oh, that wasn't the first time he did it. Beautifully timed. Regardless, though, this is a pretty even game, too. And this is a best of three, right? Yes, this okay. is our last best of three of the evening. Mm -hmm. Winner moves on to fight Mojo for the uh, the chance to fight off against Son, so who, it's worth noting, Son has put into Lucius Bracket all three of his potential next opponents. Mm -hmm. Stock, ZTN, and Mojo in that order, I believe. Oh, but that's going to take game two. That forward smash is so good. It is. It lingers for a while, and she kind of, like, leans back. And that's really cool, because um, forward smashes that lean back like that are really applicable, because they're kind of like an instant whiff punish. Like, you know, they're going to land here. They're going to do this aggressive option. You can just... Oh. I'm going to dodge. It's basically just a built-in spot dodge. And ZTN's been complimenting it with the presence of the knight mm -hmm. as of tonight. And I... I've only seen him do that in very recent tournaments. Like that's a that's a newer adaptation that I really like because it's a much harder to punish the uh, the pretty bad startup on Felix Smash. Oh, it looks like we're gonna be seeing the switch to Wolf. So why do you think he's going Wolf here? He's very confident in his zone breaking skills with his spaces, and Wolf especially has been one of his better performing characters as of late. Yep. Even though he's been trying to move himself more towards Palutena because she's a better catch all character. His wolf is still what helped like establish his presence outside of the islands. And I, I can tell what you mean by zone breaking. Like, uh, ZTN tries to set up a phantom. He just shoots the gun. And that could break it because if Zelda gets hit while she's charging phantom, um, the phantom is not going to go off. Also, that dash attack at like closer range is going to be able to stuff her out as well. On top of that, where he might not be able to get a lot of hits in on Zelda before ZTN tries to burst out with either Nehru's love or just getting out of there. Mm -hmm. Like, the little hits that Stock gets in matter that much more because of the high damage output from Wolf. And that up smash is going to catch that landing. Okay, that was just a silly situation there. Yeah, that seemed like a missed input because it looked like he went for fair. Mm -hmm. So I'm managing to stay alive, but he's taking plenty of damage from ZTN. I think everyone kind of looked confused there. 
Hey, it's just a weird situation, but Stock managed to bring it back in pretty confident fashion. <laughs> That'll be ain't going nowhere. What if you wanted to up be a neutral, but God said not run into it? Mm -mm. That's one thing I gotta bring up about like the uh, a lot of the players who ended up in the latter half of bracket tonight. Like, they all have very good reaction to these like pop up kill moves. Like, like everyone seems to have a good game plan for a lot of these bursty options. Nair's love typically known for being able to just like crush on people who are trying to rush you down, and Ferrer's win scooping up and killing. But we haven't seen a lot of that. We've seen them as threatening moves, but nothing that's getting like an assured victory for ZT yet. I guess you could say they're resistant to jump scares. Yeah, they're, they're like stunned to it. That spacing on the bear is fantastic. We couldn't even see up tilt as a punish out of shield. That's probably one of the better ones for uh, for combo starting with yep. Zelda out of shield. Yeah, um, one thing to notice, um, the reflector on Nehru's love lasts for a lot longer than the hitbox does, from what I remember. Yeah, that move is just there. Mm -hmm. So it looked like it was over, but it wasn't, and Stock kind of just fell into that. Now, it looks like CTN's starting to make a comeback here of these Phantoms. Being at ledge against Phantom is always pretty scary, but he's able to get out of the situation. Can't seem to net his kill just yet. Stock doing a really good job of staying out of zone. Breaks through the Phantom and kicks Zelda right in the chest. Putting ZTN on last life. Mm -hmm. You ever just uh, notice um, Wolf's dash attack is just Ganon's floor tilt, but he's jumping forward with it? <laughs> I, I could never get over, even from like the beginning of Ultimate, the the cha ching noise, like the, the moving chains and metal sound that his dash attack makes all the time. Like I always find it distracting, especially because the move comes out so so often. Looks like Stock's got a download here. Yeah, he he's sitting pretty at this point, unless ETN gets oh, but something that big out of shield. It. Yep, uh, Wolf's forward smash, I believe it's like minus 10 on block, but I believe Zelda is one of the few characters that can actually punish that. Pretty hard, as you saw. And all of a sudden, this is starting to look a little scarier, but Stock still has a pretty big lead. Yeah, as far as percentage is concerned, he's fine, but it's worth learning that Zelda doesn't always care about the percentage like that. Mm -hmm. If she can control that center stage, keep forcing out Stock, ZTN might be able to squeak this one away mm -hmm. if Stock's not careful. Especially if she lands one of those lightning kicks again. Yes. Phantom to cover the ledge. Stop the ledge trap. Because it'll poke through the stage, I believe. Ooh, I like the charge. Oh, this is definitely looking a lot scarier. Especially with that Phantom on the ledge. Ooh. Oh! Stock barely gets past that. This oh. is definitely looking super oh, duper scary. Oh, this is so much more doable for We might ZTN see one of those now. jump scares. Lincoln, you'll miss it, folks. End of the set coming up really shortly. You see these kill moves Ooh, coming out left and right. But the mobile Ganon Fortel is going to take it, and Stock Taker is going to beat ZTN 2-1. Just barely squeaking forward with so, 